Hello Taurus, this is Crystal Rose with Comfy Soul and I am here to do your reading. So when I was meditating, I saw that right away this crazy bull come out like Merrill Lynch ad style, right? Like just came like flying out of this gate like a like a rodeo gate was open and it came flying out and it was snorting and skidding around and doing all this and then all of a sudden it just relaxed. It just stopped. So to me, it felt like it had this persona and personality that it had to use and portray for X amount of time, probably its whole life. And then it just decided to stop. Like it just wanted peace. It went into a very childlike, um, peaceful energy as opposed to, you know, some crazy bull snorting and, you know, bucking people and all this stuff. So it felt like this was a time for peace, that you were done fighting and holding your boundary and um, putting, putting up a, a fence that wasn't high enough to keep bullshit out, right? So now the way that you're going to do it is without fighting. It's surrendering, not resisting. Um, and it's a very, very peaceful manner, like super peaceful. So it's quiet. You might be like the quietest you've ever been in your entire life. So I put a spread out and what I'm seeing here is there was a love in the past. There was two people. Okay. So this looks like someone's definitely coming back around or at least one of you, the person who is the feminine energy, that would be the one who's um, open, healing, looking for someone, you know, isn't running from love, that kind of thing. That's the feminine. The masculine is the one that's running away, okay? And hasn't taken action and is really stuck in like, you know, say ego or pride or fear or what have you. So this, this energy shows me that there was definitely a romance. And what's on the table now is actually a really good beginning. Um, it's not just a romantic beginning. This is building a good, solid foundation from the ground up. So this is morals and integrity, plans for the future, um, doing a business together. Um, really, really beautiful energy of a healthy new beginning which is why I think the bull was laying down, right? But I'm reading between two people here, right? So that means the other person on the other side that's headed towards you is also looking for a new beginning and went through love. But what's coming for the future is somebody who doesn't want to see. This entire situation has one counterpart on the other side, which I'm telling you is the masculine energy, that doesn't want to look at the connection. Nope, it didn't exist, it didn't happen. If I don't take it seriously, then I don't have to do something about it. That means I don't have to change my life, I don't have to do any effort, I don't have to make any work, I don't have to do anything if I ignore this. Let me ignore this. So I caution you, Taurus, to not ignore your feelings. Don't try to barrel through and replace the person that was you know, left behind or who left you behind. Um, with another energy before you're done healing. I need you to be alone for a minute so that you can not jump from one thing to another and not end up in the same situation because it's a very slippery slope that you'll end up with the same type of person if you can't hear yourself think and feel, okay? All right, so let's look what's happening on your side. Um, I see you thinking it's a very minimal thought process. But it is totally telling yourself, I got a healthy new beginning. I've got what I need. I'm financially stable. So I'm going to go ahead and, and move ahead and do what I want to do with this new person that I've met. Um, so you might be out there on dating sites. You might have been introduced by a friend at a gathering. It looks like you might have energies around you. And I feel like multiple. Like, so if you haven't met more than one, you're about to. Um... I feel your energy really being seen, right? You're shining. You're a passionate person. You have a lot of energy beaming off of you. And because you're not like barking or fighting people off or what have you, you know, being a Taurus, 
being real stubborn, now you get to be in your playful side. You don't have to, um, you can just be you. You can have fun. You can play, which is the side of you that most people don't see, right? So unless they get close enough to you. I see you trying to solve a problem. And you're like, what are my choices and my decisions? And so what's the advice from spirit? Because like I said, ooh, that one threw itself on the ground. Like I said, they don't want you to push ahead. This is really about you feeling fabul fabulous about you. This is you recognizing yourself, doing something nice for you, putting yourself in the spotlight. Be careful not to get that attention from other people as a way to make yourself feel better. Okay, if you can feel like that passionate, shiny person and still feel like you have something to offer the world without being in a relationship or without having somebody tell you you're handsome, you're beautiful, you're amazing, you're gorgeous, you're like you're so giving, whatever, then you've nailed it. Okay, so that's your advice. The person that's coming towards you on the other side has the belief and understanding that you've that you were a good safe connection as far as financially abundant. I don't see love here at the top of this person's mind. So right now, I don't like this energy except for as they're starting to move forward, it looks like they're paying more attention to the passion that you provided that they were taking for granted. It, they, they kind of enjoyed fighting with you and like arguing with you and butting heads but didn't realize that how much that was pushing you away and that's not a fun game and that's not something that's not how you want to live. It's not something you want to do all the time. Um, but they understand that you're a passionate, fiery person. Um, that makes them want to calm the fuck down and then come into your energy. So like I said, past person might show up and go, oh, that was really stable. I screwed it up, you know, but how much did I screw it up? If we were having fun together, then... I should be able to just show up and have fun with them. So be careful because they're still in a fun, playful mood. And I do see them wanting to share some feelings, but they are really holding back on sharing words with you. They're overthinking about what they're going to say and they don't want to share their feelings. They really want a stability with you and they want all the happy memories and the good feelings and all this, but... I know you want more than just a partner in business or home. You're a passionate person. They're a passionate person, but they refuse to share their actual vulnerable feelings. And I want to know what's going to happen next. They're going to tell you their feelings, but I don't, they're not ready yet. They're coming across as the devil energy. This is someone who is codependently attached to you. Who's, who's here to give you an agenda um, and make it sound like something else. So they're going to tell you, oh, I miss you. It's, you know, I screwed up, blah, blah, blah. It's great, whatever. Um, but it doesn't have the deep, deep feeling it needs to have behind it. The genuine, I'm so sorry that I treated you that way. I'm so, so sorry for taking you for granted. I'm so sorry that I didn't share my very deep feelings with you. And it was hard for me to do because X, Y, and Z. Insert their childhood trauma, let them tell you about their you know, ex-wife, whatever it is. Um, but they wanna tell you what's been going on with them. But it looks like they were attached to something. Let me, let me double check if they were attached to something else or if they're attaching themselves to you. So this is you. And that's something else. They're heavily grieving, letting go of something else, someone else from the past, something that didn't work, which is why they didn't share their feelings with you because they didn't want to be disappointed again. But now that they're losing you, they're like, crap, that was my, that was my forever. That was my happy. And I ruined it by not sharing my feelings because I was afraid of my past. All right. So I'm going to leave you there with that right now. And uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And um, I thank you very much for telling me what you liked, what you didn't, what you want to hear next. So I can incorporate that into your next reading. And right now I'm going to pop into timing real quick. So this is your trigger warning. If you don't do timing, please walk away now. <laughs> I'm going to use um, 
my deck that I created and need to put back out again because I only sold a run of 100 to get you timing and see what's coming next. So I'm going to use the Light Sears Tarot to see what's coming next and then I'm going to pull my deck to see when and I'll let you know when I put my deck back out. That sounds funny. Let me pull my deck out for you. <laughs> Please don't steal that t-shirt idea. It's fine. Or at least give me some credit, right? Give me like 2% of the sales or something for being awesome. All right, let's see what's coming next. Hmm. You want me to look at something two days from now? So I feel like this is coming out of the full moon energy. And I'm telling you, the first energy I picked up was they still don't want to see how much they love you. They're so afraid of their feelings. They don't even want to look at it. Not even their own feelings. They don't even want to look at themselves when they're in love with you. It's crazy. Oh, grieving, grieving, grieving. So, so sad. I was so happy. I could have had a happy family. It was going to be amazing. So what's coming? What's coming is them battling themselves, watching you shine. So what are you doing in two days? You're starting your new beginning, being responsible, focusing at home, playing, meeting new people. So they're watching you walk away and do that, and it's eating them alive, and it makes them want to come tell you what's going on with them and how much they miss you. But, like I said, they're not willing to share real feelings yet. So, if they do poke you, and I see they might, it's still a little bit of bullshit for a while. So, don't let them get comfortable yet. You just relax, little bull. And, uh, oh, I just heard Ferdinand, because he was a gentle bull. What was that, Ferdinand the Bull cartoon? I forget what the premise was. But they just brought it up. So, if you look up the story before I do, please drop it in the comments what Ferdinand the Bull is about, okay? I feel that's significant. Otherwise, they wouldn't have told me because I'm seeing the cartoon in my head right now, okay? All right, that's it. Talk to you soon. Ciao for now. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.